Hey, it's Kathy, and welcome to another episode of Tippin' on Tuesday. Today, I'm going to be using the Color Me Happy uh, stamp set, which is w available while supplies last, and it's intended to work with our uh, new Stampin' Blends. And I'm going to show you a couple of techniques with the Stampin' Blends. But if you want to order the Color Me Happy, you want to get this as soon as you can. And the number here on it is 144069. Go ahead and get that on order soon before they run out of those. Uh, so this is the card we're going to make today. And I'm going to show you a couple of different tips um, for making this card. So what you'll need for cardstock is you'll need a piece of Bermuda Bay, which is five and a half by eight and a half, and that will be folded in half and that'll make your card base. You'll need a piece of four by five and a quarter of rich razzleberry, a piece of Bermuda Bay, which is four inches by two and a quarter inches, a piece of Whisper White that is four inches by two inches. And for the inside of the card, you'll need a piece of Whisper White that is four inches by five and a quarter inches. And a piece of Bermuda Bay that is four inches by three quarters of an inch. This could be narrower if you have a uh, half inch or even a quarter inch strip because it's actually just giving you a little band. So um, I this just happened to be the size of scrap that I had. And then this is four inches by one inch on the Rich Razzleberry. For your blends, I'm going to be working with um, some mixed ones. I'm not working within the same colors. So this is the light pool party, and I'll be working with it with um, the dark Bermuda Bay. I'm also going to be working with the light rich razzleberry, and then also the lifter. For ink, I'll be using the Memento Tuxedo Black. And you'll want to remember if you're using the blends, you want to use the Memento ink. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this piece of Whisper White and the thank you um, from the uh, Color Me Happy stamp set. And I'm going to ink this up and place it down here in the center. Just like that. And I'm going to set that to the side and do my other stamping and let that dry a little bit so we don't run the risk of any smearing. On this um, Rich Razzleberry 4 by 5 and a quarter inch piece, I'm going to randomly stamp a bunch of these flowers. Whoops. Let me move that over here. And I want some off the page. One more right there, maybe a little bit on the corner. There we go. Okay, now I'll go ahead and set that to the side as well. Let that dry. So we'll come back to the thank you. And I'm going to first show you a little trick um, that you can do for a different type of blending. And I'm going to take some of the um, dark Bermuda Bay, and I'm actually going to just color on an acrylic block here. I will take my light pool party, and I'm going to pick up some of that color. And I'm going to start to color, and don't worry, you're not going to ruin that light colored um, marker. And as you can see, as it comes down, it lightens up as you use that color up. So I'm going to go ahead and go across, picking up as I go and deciding where I want to start dark. 
and then work toward the light. And it's just a way of blending without um, having to apply the different colors. And as you can see, just pick where you want the light to go, or the dark, I'm sorry, where you want the dark. Now, this does not damage your um, marker at all. It, it actually comes right out. You don't have to worry about that. But as you can see, I'm getting a lightness and dark to this without having to do any blending whatsoever. I'm just picking it up and having it do the blending for me. So I think that's good. I'm sure I get everything colored there. So isn't that cool? So in order to, um, and you can make sure that you've got all your color out of it just by coloring just a little bit. And as you can see, the uh, Bermuda Bay is all gone from that. Now to uh, clean this um, leftover off of here, you'll want to take just a little bit of uh, rubbing alcohol and a um, tissue and just wipe and it comes right off of your block, even if it dries. So I've, I've tried to just use a Kleenex and it won't come off, but with the uh, rubbing alcohol, it, it cleans it right off. So now I'll come back um, into these background areas and color those in quickly. And I'm not really gonna do any blending on them. I'm just gonna let them be the um, light rich razzleberry. So I'll go ahead, because we have a lot to do on this video, I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up. Okay. Now this technique would work great for, um, say, grasses that you want the, the um, bottom of them to be real dark and the top to be light. So that would be another uh, great idea for this technique. So that is going to just be real quickly placed on to this Bermuda Bay piece. So we'll go ahead and do that real quickly. Oops. Okay. So we'll come back to this piece and I also need my little strip um, stamped as well. So I'm gonna do that real quick and set it to the side while we're doing working with this other one. There we go. So this is kind of a, a different technique um, is using the um, color that matches with your cardstock. And I'm going to start um, work one flower at a time. So I'm going to color this flower in here. And I'm not going to really worry about it being perfect. I'm going to leave that center light just like that. And I'll go ahead and do two of them at a time. You don't want to do too many more than that. So we'll put that to the side and then we're going to get our color lifter. And I'm going to come and just circular work it. Now it's going to kind of push some of the color out side of the outline and that's fine. I want that because that gives me kind of the haziness. Now this is not going to look like anything's happening right away. So you want to 
don't don't think that nothing's happening and it's going to stay dark like this because it's not. So we'll go ahead and leave those two and move on to a couple more. So as you can see, I'm really not worrying about um, how I'm coloring. I'm just trying to stay mostly within those lines. But if I go outside of it a little bit, that's okay. So I've got those two done. And we'll come back with the lifter again. It really doesn't look like anything's happening, but it is. So I'm going to finish this up off camera and uh, then come back with you as soon as I get these others done. So I'll be right back with you. Okay, I'm back and I've got them all done. And as you can see, they're starting to lighten up a little bit, but they're not always all the way there. So I'm going to take my heat gun on the lighter setting. And I'm just going to start to heat them in the center. And as you can see, they'll start to lighten up. And what's kind of cool is that um, the lifter had pushed some of the darker color out to the edges. And that is why you get kind of um, a blurring of the outside edge to it. I think that's really cool looking. So I'm going to just go ahead and turn onto the back here as well. And depending on how much of the lifter you used, uh, you will have light and darkness to the inside of your flowers. So there, as you can see, they, they have some lightness and darkness to them. So we're going to just attach that to the front of our card. And then we will attach the thank you. Right down here. And then I'm going to use one of the little wooden hearts. And for that, I'm going to use the fine tip uh, glue pen. And on the back, I'm just going to dab little dots of it on once I get it started. There we go. Just tap a little bit on it. I don't want too much. And then remember to place your finger at the back and get that little pin to go right down inside there, which is usually easy, but not on camera. There we go. And make sure that thing gets um, sealed up properly. And then we'll put the little heart down here. And now we'll finish the inside of the card. So again, I need to color my, heart, my flowers. Let me do these real quickly here. And this time I'm going to use the uh, finer tip 
and just to show you that either way works. And if you have a heavy hand when working with markers, um, this finer tip will be a better tip for you to use because um, you're going to find that with a heavy hand, the brush tip is going to break down a lot quicker than you want. So when you do most of your coloring, you might want to stay uh, using your blends with the, um, the other tip. Let's go ahead and do a real quick heat on these. And then we'll bring our pieces out and first attach the Bermuda Bay along one side to the back of the rich razzleberry. Just like that. And this to the bottom. Here. And finally, we'll get that on the inside of our card. Now I notice here I have a little bit sticking off the end, so I'm going to go ahead and grab my snips and just trim that off real quick and place that inside. my card. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this edition of Tippin' on Tuesday and let me know what kinds of fun things you've discovered with your Stampin' Blends. Have a great week and I'll see you on Friday with Fast and Fabulous on Friday.